members of the barrio. Today we're gonna be eating our way through the Lower East Side of Manhattan. We're gonna be showing you some of the best cheap eats in the area with somebody born and raised here. You don't wanna miss it. The Lower East Side can be very expensive, but today we're gonna show you the best cheap eats. Before El Cabron expanded, it was just the kitchen. It was just a to-go spot. You went to the window, said what you wanted, and you got the tacos, and you left. The food's so good, and the tacos are great, the burritos are great, that they expanded their business. Todos. Todos? Todos. I kid you not, three, four years ago, you could barely find beer yet anywhere in New York City. Now, almost every single Mexican place it seems is offering it. Most important part, gotta dip the taco in the consomme. So you're basically dipping it in its own juices. Let's try this. Mmm, that's really good. And I think give you a lot of beer yet too. It's like 13 for three of these. This is stuffed pretty nicely, wow. Ooh. Oh my God. This is like de-stressing me right now. I had a stressful day in the office and this is what de-stresses me. Berry is a beautiful thing. I don't know where it came from. I do know it came from Mexico. I don't know who invented it, whoever invented it. I wanna shake your hand and take you out for dinner. They uh, underestimate the taco game in New York City, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's improving. I still think the best tacos I've ever had in the US were in LA but I think New York is stepping it up. Give New York another five or 10 years and we'll see where it stands up against LA in the taco game. I have an idea what they should do. They should make a chopped cheese and put the beer sauce on the chopped cheese. We've covered birria pizza on the channel. We're gonna do birria chopped cheese next. I'm telling you, it will work. It's getting a little nippy out here. You wanna get some soup? I hear they got some good soup here. All right, you hear they got good soup? Let's do it, let's do it. Come on, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Super de pollo. Super de pollo. Hey, let's get it. Got it right. You want the super de pollo, come to de agua in the lower, in the 537. You're the reason I live in New York. I'm the reason you live in New York? Really? My son and I. He watched everything. Yeah? Thank you so much. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. What do you, what do you say when someone says that to you? Dominicans, they make up a huge proportion of the population in New York City. And I think personally, down here in the Lower East Side, de agua, this is the best soup right here. Dominican chicken soup is gonna be bone in it. Typical American chicken soup won't have bone, but I'll tell you, when you have the chicken coming off the bone, you know it's gonna be fresh, you know it's gonna be good. It's November 1st, so we're just like, we're, we're inching closer and closer to winter. I mean, this is practically a meal right here anyway. Mm. And we have some toasted bread. Mm. I mean, this is like a like Texas oh, okay. toast, a little garlic. Oh, mm. oh man. Besides my grandmother's soup, this is probably the tastiest soup that I've ever had in my life. And like you said, even the chicken with the bones on, it's so much more tasteful than uh, boneless chicken. But I feel like the broth, like I, I wanna know what they put inside the broth because it's so flavorful. Like I, I just like, I wanna know the ingredients. I want my grandmother to make this for me. Growing up as a kid, there were so many more shops like this. It's just good to have in the neighborhood, you know? Cause the prices are going up, you know? Yesterday's price is not today's price, no. So prices are going up and you know, it's good to have spots like this where it's affordable. New York City is getting expensive, especially People, neighborhoods yeah. like this one. Yeah. Now we're on Orchard Street and growing up, like I only knew Orchard Street for one thing. That one thing was their leather jackets. It smelled like leather for this whole half a mile because there was just leather fabric stores, Italian suitwear stores they had. But now it's all bars, art galleries, little small mom and pop shop boutiques. So can you, can you still smell the leather from 20 years ago? In my mind, in my soul, I could still smell it. Yes, yeah, two and three. Thank you. Thank you so much. They started as an inconspicuous little cart in Corona, Queens, only on weekends, upgrading to a bigger spot in the Lower East Side, getting covered by the New York Times, and then blowing up and being, you know, one of the most popular mm -hmm. places here. That's why I love coming here because not only is it just the food that you're enjoying, it's the backstory. Yeah. You know, it's the hustle that nobody sees, that what goes on behind the kitchen. I was really pumped Marco took me here because you don't find tamale spots at every corner of Manhattan. Check that out right there. And they make their own masa, which is really difficult, not common at all in New York City. I've had this in Mexico plenty of times. Mm. Tastes homemade, man. Just fresh, soft, and I'm actually bringing three of these home. One for Adriana, 
and two for her ofrenda, for Day of the Dead, which is where you give offerings to deceased relatives and friends for that altar. Adriana specifically asked for tamales because her dead relatives and friends love tamales. I love tamales too. On a less dark note, I really wish this was in Brooklyn because I'd be coming here all the time. Mm. The mole poblano, really, really good. Wow, that hit, that, that hit, that hit different. That hit different, that's really, really good. What's like your most uh, Jimmy. signature, Jimmy, Jimmy? Yeah, the Jimmy's the uh, you said You said that like instantly, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've that question at least 10 times a day. 10 times a day, right? Smoked ham, the arugula. You have the Regina's Calabrian chili spread, which I think is the difference maker in the cousin Jimmy. You're just getting more excited with every ingredient. I oh, like man, this. I love it. I love it. The eagle has landed. Let's get it. <laughs> It's like your old school deli meets hipster Manhattan. Some would argue $16, why is this in a Cheap Eats video? Because these things are big. You can split them two ways, $8 each. I think it gets a nod for Cheap Eats, no? I think so. So listen, this is New York City. Realistically, nothing's really that cheap. You said you just went to the doctor and your cholesterol's a little bit high? I have high cholesterol, but it is not stopping me from eating. So this video's against your doctor's orders. It's I'm sorry. Against the doctor's sorry to your doctor. I hope she's not watching this right now. Oh yeah. man, cheers. Let's try this. Mmm. And there it is. First thing I noticed was the chili. The chili oil. That's what makes this sandwich a little bit different for me. Exactly. And I feel like all the like old school um, Italian sandwich spots, like they don't have that chili spread. That's why Regina's, it sticks out to me so much. That chili spread adds a crazy dynamic to the sandwich along with its fresh mozzarella cheese, which is amazing. We talked about this in another video we did with uh, Mary Jane, the Italian girl, and you were explaining it to people that have never heard of a Manhattan special. Yeah, so all it is is espresso with like, with soda. It's espresso soda, yeah. basically. So if you were, if you really want to be up in the morning or at nighttime, any time of the day, you drink one of these, you'll be climbing up the walls. So we're here at Champion Pizza, and it's the most underrated pizza chain in New York City. Yo, as New Yorkers, we love our cheese. Look at the cheese, cheese everywhere. Wait, I'm gonna get somewhere over here for a little bit on No, my you're ass. not. No. <laughs> we ate so much today, sometimes you just have enough stomach left for a point slice. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, man. Got a beautiful under cabbage right there. Look at that. That's what you want the crust to be like. Not too burnt, it's beautiful. What I like about Champion Pizza, it's got a little sweet flavor to it with a tomato sauce that's different than every other place. And I also love like how thin it is. Like you could have three slices and still be, you know, pretty good. You know, you can still be not have like the itis. Absolute great deal for $1.50. Mm. This, this is the cheapest item on the video. I would have never thought a million years I would ever do this, but let's get it. Any idea what you're doing? Uh, listen, I love cheese, so I'm making mine with a little extra cheese. I don't think anyone has ever put this much cheese on a pie in history. Yeah, I hope that they don't get mad at me. I put a lot of cheese on here, like a ton of cheese. Bada bing, here we go. Yo, my first pie I've ever made. Look at the cheese. We put about four pounds of cheese on it. It's crispy, it's beating. Look at that, look at that crispiness to it. What do you think, you think I did a good job? Amazing. Try my slice, tell me what you think. Big flop, a lot of cheese, Marco Lombardi style. Look at this thing. That's not bad. Pretty good, bro. Definitely extra cheese. Yo, we love our cheese, that's what I'm saying. Yo, I didn't say, what do you give it? I'm gonna give it a seven too. 7-2, I like that. Borsal, you ain't got nothing on us. Let us know in the comments which of these cheap eat spots you most want to visit. Thank you so much for watching. As always, till next time. Peace.